Greed Kills. That's the title of this video. Greed Kills. It's based on a, well, it's kind of a cool, you know, little headline. I'm hoping to capture your attention, but it's based on a, um, uh, a phrase, uh, speed kills, you know, the drug speed, uh, speed kills, but greed kills too. Look, uh, greed is ultimately, there's that, that, that whole Michael Douglas, uh, in the very first movie, Wall Street, the best one, the second movie sucks, um, save you, save you, um, from having to having to go through the second movie, but the first movie, Wall Street, with Michael Douglas, Charlie Sheen is a is a brilliant movie, and in that in that movie they talk about uh, they talk about greed is good. Well, greed is really not good. Um, ambition can be good, of course. Ambition has a dark side too, but um, greed is where you're just looking out for yourself. You're only thinking about you. Screw everybody else. You're just out for number one. You're trying to get all you can get, and um, in the end, you might you might actually uh, you might actually score, but you might actually win, but you're going to lose. In the end, you're going to lose because the people that we admire the most, the ones we respect the most, believe in the most, trust the most, follow the most, are the people that we know are beyond all that egotistical greed kind of centered kind of thing. Yeah, they're looking out for themselves. We all are. But, but the way they look out for themselves is by looking out for you. That's what a good joint venture business partner does. Now, many years ago, I was involved in a joint venture uh, with, uh, with a man named Alan Bechtold. Uh, Alan has passed on. Um, may he rest in peace. Uh, great, great entrepreneur, great guy. He, uh, he used to send me uh, an Eileen because I was, I was, this was uh, back when my wife Eileen and I were involved in the business together. And Alan would write us these checks for um, millions of dollars over a period of time. But every couple weeks we'd get a check for $100,000, bucks, $200,000. And um, now we had to do a bunch of work initially to put it all together. But once it was together, it just ran like automatic, uh, you know, like, like, uh, the set it and forget it kind of thing. So it was like a well-oiled money machine. And I, I asked Alan one day, we were drinking a cup of coffee in the plaza in Kansas City. We both had condominiums there, his wife and, and my wife. We had condominiums uh, right, right. In fact, uh, he was right below me or above me. I forget. Yeah, he was right below me. Yeah, because I used to joke about, uh, never mind, doesn't matter what I used to joke about. Um, so we're drinking coffee. And I said, now look, Alan, we're friends, right? Of course we were. And we were like brothers at the time. And um, I said, tell me the truth. Doesn't it bother you to send me these huge checks every couple of weeks? Or, you know, us, because it was Eileen and I together. I said, doesn't it bother you to send us these huge checks every couple of weeks? And without missing a beat, looking me right in the eye, I know he was being real with me, he said no. Because every time I send you one of those big checks, I know I get to keep one too. And, um, you know, he was right. Because even though we were getting half of the money that came in, we were also spending money on marketing too. So it's not like all that money was just ours to keep. Um, we were spending money on marketing. But, but uh, the marketing just ran itself. And Alan did all the real work. And we were getting these monstrous checks in. All the money was coming to him. He was sending us back uh, half of all the revenue that was coming in. And we made millions of dollars. He was doing all the work, but he wasn't greedy. He was looking out for us. He was looking out for everybody else. Those are the people in this world that we admire the most. When you find those people, hold on to them. Uh, when you find people that are egotistical, they only think of themselves. They don't, you know, when they start exhibiting that kind of behavior, get rid of them fast. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, I, I, I haven't followed that advice all the time. I've kept people with me that, uh, that I knew were basically greedy people that were only in it for themselves. They didn't really care about me. And in the end, I got screwed. Same thing is going to happen to you. Greed is a bad thing in the end. Uh, just you know, it, 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 it takes over people's lives, it consumes them, and, um, and ultimately it leads to a lot of unhappiness and disappointment for them. So they may get a lot of money, but ultimately the way that you get a lot of the best things that life has to offer is you find that group of people that are deserving, people that have your back, people that are with you and, and been with you and, and, 
and, and helped you every step of the way and you do everything possible to take good care of those people. That's the opposite of greed. That's, that's living your life for not only just for you, but for all of the people around you and, and really caring about people and uh, striving to help them. So it's, it's, it's never just about you. That's a shallow way to live. Uh, so greed really does kill. I hope you benefited from this video. I know I rambled on. Some of this just sounds like common sense, and yet in business, you see a lot of greedy people. Just greed, 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 greed. Um, and, and people confuse that with ambition. It's not to be confused. Um, and, and we are all looking out for ourselves, but the best way for you to look out for yourself is to look out for other people. That's what a good joint venture business partner does. I'm looking for good JV partners. If you're looking for a way to make more money, reach out to me at heytj.com or send me an email at tickets at heytj.com. And don't get greedy. And when you find people in your life that are greedy and self-centered and egotistical and shallow um, and dishonest, because all of it ultimately leads to dishonesty, um, get rid of those people fast. Um, hope you benefited from this video. Look forward to seeing you down the road or meeting you down the road. Reach out to me, please. Uh, let's become joint venture business partners and let me make my money by doing everything to help you make money. That's, that's the cool thing about business. And it does, it does, it's, uh, it's not a zero-sum game. As your joint venture partner, I win by helping you win. And let's, let's, do, let's do something together here and make some money together. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye for now.